हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज वीडियो इज मेक विंडोज 10 स्टार्ट मेन्यू लुक लाइक विंडोज 11 विद रेन मीटर एंड स्टार्ट 11 सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अडियो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Of all the new Windows 11 features, the launcher style floating start menu is the most distinctive part of Microsoft next generation desktop OS. If you are stuck with Windows 10 and for any reason could not update to Windows 11, we have a way out that you can use to enjoy Windows 11 start menu and taskbar. I'll show you two ways to do that. Before we move on with the first method, First of all, we need to unlock our taskbar and to do so, I'll right click on my taskbar and from here click on lock the taskbar option. At the moment it is enabled and now our taskbar is not locked. Now we need to move this taskbar toward any direction of our screen. For the first method, we need to download two files and the links are given in the description. This is the first file that you need to download and this is the second one. I have already downloaded both of these, so I'll go back to my folder where I have downloaded these files. So here I have both of them, I will install the first one, click OK. Here you have two options, go with the default one, I'll click on next. I'll just simply click on install. After just few seconds, we are done with the installation process, I'll just click on finish. And here you can see we have different widgets that have appeared onto our desktop. Now I will unpin all of them. I will right click on it and here we have an option that says unload skin. I will just unload it. Again I will unload this one. Now let's move on with the second file. So here is the second file. Double click on it. And from here just simply click on install. Again it will take few seconds to get the process done. This is how it looks like after the installation. From here, you can select any theme and down here we have to write our name or you can go with the default one. I'll go with my name. Then you have the option to go either with top or bottom. I'll go with the bottom and then we have time format. At the moment it is 12 hours so we are good with it. I'll just click on done here. We have taskbar at the bottom of our screen and it is looking exactly same like Windows 11. Now here is one problem and that is we still have this taskbar. What we can do with it? If you click on this arrow button, from here you can hide your taskbar or you can hide your desktop icons as well. We do not have any desktop icon so obviously we will hide our taskbar. So I'll just click on it and here we do not have any taskbar available in here. If you click on this start button, this is looking exactly same like the Windows 11 and it will work just like that. Now in order to make some changes, right click on your taskbar and from here click on change skin. Again it will allow you to have different skins onto your system. Let's go with the dark one and now we have successfully changed our skin. So this is how you can have the start menu that looks like the Windows 11 and we are done with the first method. For the second method, Again, we need to download a file. So this is the file and I have given the link in the description as well. Here we have three version of this file. This one costs you $6, then we have $15 and the last one will cost you around $40. But obviously with every package we have different features. In case if you do not want to buy this one, you can start a free trial and that will last for 30 days. And here it is and it will download your file in few seconds. I have already done that. So this is the file and now we will just install it. Agree with the terms of license agreement. Click on next. Again click on next. Okay, we are done with the installation of this tool and now what we need to do, we need to start 30 day free trial. So you need to just click on it and give it your email address. Click on continue. My trial has been successfully activated. In your case, you might have to confirm your email address by using your email account and then your trial period will get activated. 
click on finish and as you can see at the bottom we have all the icons at the center just like in the windows 11 if i hit my windows key here it is working just like in the windows 11 now i'll get out of this because we have a lot to discuss here as you can see we have different section in here and each section allows you to do different tweaks into your windows 11 start menu first one is start menu from here you can have different themes obviously i'll go with the windows 11 but in case if you want to go with windows 7 modern style or windows 10 style you can go for other than that we have a setting gear here if i just click on it it will allow us to do different tweaks into our start menu for example these are different directories that are appearing into our windows 11 start menu here we have all those things that are in here other than that in case if you want to add some more application or some more directories you can just click on add and you are good to go other than that we have how should the menu look like from here you can customize the visual appearance of your menus here we have different option to do so i'll go back and down here we have the power menu option it says shut down and reboot option when connected via remote desktop we are not connected via remote desktop that is why we will leave it as it is and now we will move back and now i will discuss some of these sections first one is start menu i have already discussed that then we have start button at the moment we have this start button we have list of many start button that we can choose from here we have arsenic orb then we have eco then we have element large you can select anyone as per your liking i'll go with this one and here we have new start button and then we have how would you like your taskbar configured at the moment everything is centered aligned if you want to go with the left side here it is now we have everything on the left side and if you go with the position the taskbar button in the center of the taskbar it will center align every application but it will keep the start menu on the left side so i'll go with the default option and that is center align and now we have everything in the center then we have some advanced taskbar option that we can go with so come here explore these option and set them as per your liking and then we have the taskbar section from here you can make your taskbar blur transparent or you can add any color the first option is blur the wallpaper under the taskbar we cannot see the wallpaper behind the taskbar then it says use automatic color for the taskbar whatever the background color or background image you will choose your taskbar will get the color on its own then we have adjust taskbar transparency you can go with any value as per your liking at the moment it says zero and as you can see we have our background appearing on our taskbar so it's all up to you which value you like and with which one you want to stay then we have apply a custom texture to the taskbar you can apply a custom one or you can reset the default one i'll go back and then if you scroll down here we have control what right clicking on the taskbar does if i right click on my taskbar at the moment it will show me windows x menu if i right click on here here we have all those menus that we get by pressing windows x and now i will press windows x and here we have the same menu that i had by right clicking on my taskbar if you scroll down further here you have one more option that says advanced taskbar option and we have already discussed this one then we have the search section from here you can do different settings and tweaks related to your search in this new windows 11 taskbar menu the first one is use start 11 search in the start 11 start menu it is enabled by default then it says how should your search work first one is show search results filtering icons you can go with it then second one says search file content as well as names it means if you are looking for the text inside a file you would need this enabled let's say i have a word file and i have something particular written in that particular file what i can do i can search that word file with what is written in that particular file to do so i have to enable this option then we have search for shortcuts on the desktop and fences and it will include items on the desktop in your search then we have use classic search means it will search in windows 11 start menu just like the windows 10 
I will leave it as it is. And the last one is control. It says clicking the start buttons open. Obviously it will open start 11 menu, but you can change it. If you click on windows menu, and now if you click on the start button, here you can see it has opened the windows 10 menus. Now, if you go with the windows menu, unless docked, unless you are docked, it will open windows menu. And now if I click on it, here you can see we are not docked at the moment. That is why it has not opened windows menu. The last option says start 11 menu unless in tablet mode. As we are using windows 10 into our laptop, so this will not work. I'll go with the default option. Then we have show the windows menu when I control click the start button. Now, if I click on my start menu, it will open start 11 menu. But if I click with control, it will open windows menu. So this is the main difference between it. Then we have in a full screen application, pressing the windows key open, it will open the start 11 menu. Then we have show the windows menu when I press the right windows key. The last section is windows menu shortcut. It says pin your windows menu shortcut onto your start 11 menu. So this is how you can have different tweaks related to your taskbar and the start 11 menu into your windows 10. So download this file and start using the start menu that looks like windows 11 with start 11. And we are done with this video. Leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.